Hey guys, Cartoon Retro Boy here, and I'm here to review my, every episode of Mile Pony season, every episode of Mile Pony reviewed. But this is so I'll be reviewing every episode in my own order of seasons. So yeah, I'm gonna have to start. So well, I'll probably explain the rules first. So, recently I have not watched a single episode of the show uh, since 2019, and I'm decided to watch each season in my own way. So, we're going to start off with season 3. Why you say season 3, my ask? It's because, well, it's because season 3 was my, was kind of one of those, was my, was the most one I actually watched. I actually, well, this was my, this was, sure, this was the season... I watched, this was the third season, but I did watch this one more than season one and two. But we don't need to elaborate on that. I only seen season one once, and I seen season two only once. And I watched season three first, and I just go watch the other two. But anyways, uh, let's just explain, uh, what's the ratings of the season. So, let's start off. So we have a great episode, which is a episode that I consider good and, and enjoyable. And so amazing and also creative. We have a fine episode, which is a episode I consider fine and decent and kind of filler and mediocre. And then we have a scum then we have a scrum pie episode where it's an episode that I consider terrible, horrible, and kinda of infamous and atrocious. And also nortestic. I don't and overrated. So yeah. Let's just start let's just start reviewing the very first episode starting off okay so the plot about this episode is that twilight has to defeat this has to take twat quest and this is the crystal empire where shiny armor and Crit cadence lives yeah it looks pretty good although then we have king sombra which it's a dark villain that kind of wants to take over the world so you see right now is that he basically does is he basically takes tries to take over the ponies, but thanks to Celestia Luna he got he got vanished, but he seemed to return. I think I have no idea why, but okay, I just move on. So Twilight has to go to this place, and that's the basic story. That's the story of this episode, and yeah, that's it. That's really the plot of this episode. Well, this is part one, so I can't say anything. Yeah, no, 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 no. Oh boy, like that. Yeah, this has been part one. Has been kind. Yeah. Fun fact: This was the very first episode I recently watched, and it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I kind of expected more from this part, but no, I don't like this episode. I didn't really like a few. I didn't really like a, in the, some of this episode. I think I think my big problem with part one is that I feel like it kind of just kind of is too gosh darn slow. Especially, there is some jokes that work, like the rarity, like the whole shiny rarity thing, which. To be honest, that joke was kind of like a lamp. This episode, this part one feels like I'm watching actually this, watching the, this Spongebob video game. I am feel like I'm watching the, hold it up. I feel like, um, I feel like this episode specifically reminds me a lot of, I compare this, I compare this part one to Atlantis Corpantis in my opinion. This special was bad, like, atrociously bad actually. But, I will say, thankfully, Crystal Empire 1 definitely is better than Atlantis. Although, it has some... Yep. Uh, I'll say this, though. I'll give credit to the Crystal Empire Part 1. It feels like I'm actually watching a better version of that kind of, that special. And true. It has some similarities. Like, for instance, they go to this, like, weird city. Yeah, that's the, that's the one comparison I can say for them. I think the other comparison I compared this uh, Crystal Empire to Atlantis Grapantis is probably the songs. Although, although, 
Well, Miss Mi Misery Cure does have some similarities to Atlantis too, but honestly, no. I overall think the first part was just kind of a dull ver. It's just dull. It's just kind of just no. Sure, sure. I think it's pretty much as dull as Atlantis for Pantis. Well, not as dull, but kind of just filler. It feels like they didn't really even try. Great. I'm back to this episode now. So like I so the so like I said about Atlantis, I I kind of have no arguments here. Now, is it as boring as Atlantis Corpantis? No, totally not. Ah, uh, yeah, this was my very part of this episode of rarity of this episode. No, you son of a. Why? It's kind of lame. This is lame. This is like completely gosh darn lame. I don't know. You know, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. This is kind of just weird. Weird. This part is like really nothing. Really. Ugh. Okay, so, so you see that I can't say anything too much about this special. You see, you can't. I can't say anything. This is just... No, I can't. Atlantis kind of takes all that point. I Honestly, Atlantis or Pantis... It, 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 this is better, but it kind of feels kind of stale. I don't know why. But I'll give, it, I'll give this some... I'll say the positives of this... Part one is that it's better than that. It has all the songs and whatever it's called. It's better and it's just kind of filler. So I have nothing else to say. So yeah, S this episode is basically kind of boring. Well, the first part, not the second part. That's where the episode really takes, really gets better. But yeah. Let's let's just move. Let's give the final opinion on part one. Part one is just decent, fine, and it's a fine part. Not worse, but definitely not best. Let's just continue on. So yeah, yeah. You notice? Yeah, that's the final opinion. Let's just move on to part two. That's where the episode really takes part. Okay, so this is part two, and part two is surprisingly so epic. Gosh dang, there's nothing else I can say. It's just fine. It's a fine part. It had some good jokes in. Yeah. I like this. I like this episode a lot. No, part two specifically. Part two has some really good has some really good um things to say. It's not too bad and it's not too and it's not too terrible. Oh. Oh no. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is where the, the episode really takes part. After eight minutes of boringness and kind of filler, it finally get, takes. Let's start off with this episode. Let's start off with this. Okay. Let's. This is this is one of my highlights of this episode. The highlight of this episode is this part actually. The nightmare. The nightmare part is one of the best parts of this specific episode. But, it's not even... And this is where the episode kind of... This is my favorite part. The whole Twilight n uh, n Nightmare episode. Nightmare part. This is definitely one of the best parts of this whole entire special. It's better... It's just kind of, it's also kind of emotional, actually. I like it. I like it a lot. It's better, it has so much more, just, comedy, I don't know. Although Twilight is a little bit scared in this part, but it still feels emotional. Spike's plane was pretty good. Pretty light, I love it. This part of this episode kind of reminds the, this is the part where it reminds me a lot of the Sponge of Dumpses and Dragons special, which, yeah, I can see some similarities. They both had the chariots, and they had to do the charge thing. Although, unlike that episode, I kind of would say that they... It has darkness, and, yeah. Oh, oh, why didn't this part got... Why didn't this got advertised? That would be great. 
I do like how also the ending is. The ending is pretty great to this episode, so yeah. Overall, it's a great special, and it has everything I need to make it a good special, so... Yeah. Overall, part 2 is better, and definitely one of my favorites from season 3, if I have to be honest. And then we get to the next episode, which we're not, we're not, oh, oh, we have to finish this one. Oh, crap. Okay, so, oh, crap, I also forgot about the song. And the defeat thing. Also, the defeat was pretty good. That's it. Now, let's talk about the ending of this episode. Now, the ending of this episode was probably one of the best endings of any of the specials so far. This kind of feels like it's better that it's better than how Return of Harmony kind of handles things because Return of Harmony kind of feels like they just rushed out the episode and this one feels like it, they kind of wanted to make this all apology. And yeah, I like that. I like that. And the episode kind of ends off with a good cliffhanger, a good episode. So yeah, a great episode and a great moral. And I think the moral kind of works too. Definitely one of the most overpraised episodes I ever seen. And the song, of course, was great. This was definitely the highlight of this special, and I loved it. I love this episode a lot. It's a great special. I like it. That's all I have to say about this episode. Anyways. Alright, too many Pinkie Pies. This episode is about Pinkie Pie, you know, making clothes of herself. This episode is kind of also a little bit dark, if I have to be honest. The, uh, I don't know. It, it has some kind of the dark tone at the, at the, towards the, uh, least middle and final half of the episode. Um, uh, okay. Fun fact. This, yeah, I already did the fun fact. Uh, what's the highlight of this episode? Honestly, Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie definitely learns a really good moral, and it definitely shows. Yeah, I know it's a simple video, so yeah, let's move on. Let's just move on. Let's just... How about we just skip to the moral? How about, sure, the ending of this episode is a little bit too dark. It's kind of too dark for me at the end of the episode. What? Pinkie Pie definitely has... Definitely... Oh, I hate that face. Don't. Okay. Pinkie Pie has the... This is the best moral of this episode. Yeah. Oh, boy, my timer. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to speed this episode up. I'm gonna hate... I'm gonna hate... Okay. 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 Okay, let's just move on to the other episodes. So overall, this episode is great. Let's just let's just let's just skip on, okay? Because I don't have the, I don't have that much time left. Hey, sorry for that little interruption. And yeah, oh, you probably expect me to review. Uh, I wanted to skip all the way to Magic Mystery Cure. Man, I have a lot of things to say about this episode. So let's just get this started. Mystery Cure. Man, this episode used to be one of this one is my favorite episode of season three overall. This is definitely one of the best episodes. Definitely in my top five favorite episodes of the whole entire show. Duh!